Hello everyone, today we're back on the Spider-Man tutorial series where I show you how to make a scene like this one. So in part one, we already saw how to make your very own uh, CGI Spider-Man suit. And in this part, so part two, we're gonna be taking a look at how to animate your character without having any knowledge at all in animation like I do. So you want to go ahead and open your saved file. So that's the suit we made previously. And now what you're going to want to do, once you make sure you have all your details and everything, is that you're going to delete this bottom plate. So for that, you just click it, see here it's selected, and boom, done. Then part two is going to be you basically selecting your character here. And now that you've selected it, you just want to go on to File, and here you want to export, and you want to export it as an OBJ, like so. And we're going to call it, um, let's call it Spider-Man Suit Tutorial. And then you save it just wherever you need to. So once you've done that, what you want to do is just save your scene. And uh, you want to go to your browser and search for Mixamo. So just open it up. And we're in here. So what you want to do is either log in if you already have a, an Adobe account. And if you don't, just sign up. It's totally free. So I'll just be logging in. So once it's open, it should be looking something like that. So let's make it wider window okay and now that we've got this we actually want to import our own model so you just go here upload character select character file and that's where you're actually going to select well the obj you just made wait for it to do its loading and and boom now you've got this so just make sure it's like pointing forward to you like so click next and here just follow the instructions and what's that that's going to do is just add an armature which we don't have to do in blender anymore because it does it automatically so that's a good point so just target everything make sure with the elbows that you're actually on them because i get tricked a lot with these anyways just hit next just have to wait doesn't take long and then you should get this so as you can tell it's Pretty smooth, checking the elbows, the joints, everything, and it looks decent. So what you want to do is go on here and click next. And what's awesome is that you have all these animations that you can apply to your own model. So that's exactly what we want. Plus, if you go on to search, they have a superhero thing. Here. Just click it and you've got yourself awesome animations see how how they're like so cool so for my scene i'm gonna pick a landing spider-man so uh finally i decided to get a standing spider-man animation because it fits the scene i want to make and then what you want to do is go here download make sure it comes with the skin i'd go with a 24 uh frames per second and then well make sure it's on fbx and besides that just click download once you downloaded everything you just want to open a brand new blender scene and delete everything then you want to go on to file import fbx and just choose your fbx you just downloaded so mine's right here and then you will not see anything that's because you need to scale it up so to do that hit s and just scale it up like so. Yeah, yeah, it's better. And boom, you have your animation. Now just make your scene as big as the last keyframe. So here it's 58 frames long. So 58 here. And now, yeah, we've got our animation. Now uh, it's going to be about the textures. So for that, you want to go on to viewport display right here and it's all white 
So how do you get the texture you just created before? For that, very simple. Just hit File, and this time Append, and you want to select the Spider-Man uh, Blender scene where we made uh, our suit. So for that, mine was in the Assets folder, Spider-Man, Spider-Man Tutorial, and then you want to go on to Object right here, and just select Spider-Man Body. That's all we need. And now that everything's in there, you want to delete all of these by selecting all of those and delete. And boom, now we have the Spider-Man suit texture, but we want to apply it onto the animated one. So how do you do that? Very simple. Select your FBX, gonna maybe put that a bit higher. Go to Shader Editor, and on here, there's Spidey Suit material. So just click it, and boom. But then there's a problem. It looks all soggy. How do you fix that? Just go all the way to this placement, right here, and just lower the scale. See, until it fits what you want. So I'm gonna go with 0.5. Yeah, maybe a bit less, 0.3 should be fine, 0.2 maybe, yeah, 0.2 is a good one, perfect. So now that we've got this, you can actually go ahead and delete this Spider-Man model we don't need anymore. So, delete this, delete this, and we're left with the Spider-Man, but there's a problem, he has no eyes. It's all replaced with this red texture. So to fix this, you just select the Spider-Man, hit tab. And now you're gonna zoom in to your character, go towards the eyes. And now that you've got this, you wanna go ahead and since we're already in edit mode, click somewhere else. Here, select the select lasso tool. And you just wanna go ahead and select everything you have. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, just make sure you select faces. So once you have selected everything, go on to here, the materials, hit plus, and just hit new, and then assign. So now you've got white eyes. And so now you're gonna make the lenses. So for that, very simple. If you like it white, well, you can keep it like that. But now what I'm gonna do is just simply change the color to something black, like so. Let me open it here better, yeah. Here's our texture. So if we zoom in, yeah. So here you can change the color, well, to black. Then maybe make it more metallic, cause you know, they're lenses and lower the roughness, not too much though, like so, that should be enough. Yeah, oops, got it. Uh, and once you've got your desired texture, you can just go back uh, to edit mode and then select the interfaces where the mesh is at and same process, just select everything that's in there. So once you've selected everything, same process. Oops, let me go, yeah. So you hit plus, new, and assign. And see, we already got our textures back. So now we've got, see our Spidey lenses with the suit. So if we go back to the layout, uh, wait to timeline right here. See, we have a view at the animation and then to uh, look at the scene without having the armature, just hit this here. And now let's give it a look. Yeah, and that looks pretty good. So yeah, that's the end of this part. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. In part three, we'll be seeing how to make a whole scene and all the render options and everything. So have a nice day.